So we're making up some nukes today and I just wanted to show you what we do regarding the beer scapes. Now I try and use these beer scapes whenever I can because it means you have to come in the day before and put the beer scapes on or at least a day and maybe give it two days if there's a lot of bees in the top. But you see this, here's the honey supers, okay? That's the bit with the honey at the top, the top three boxes. And then we have the beer scape there, but ours are a standard beer scape with a lozenge underneath, just a triangular lozenge underneath here, and they seem to work really well for us. But what I like to do is when I've harvested, I'll come in two or three days later and make nukes. So about two days after I put on the beer scapes, I come here and I make these nukes by doing this. I wanted to just show you underneath the box, this is how easy it is. So I'll just crack this off gently, lift it up and you'll see underneath, it'll be full of bees. Here we are. And there it is, look. And that's how easy it is to make your nuke up. Where are the bees? Right there. And the majority of those are probably nurse bees, right above the brood. That's our lozenge you can see in the middle. The bees are trying to get back up, but they can't. You just take two additional frames out, put it in, give them a queen, however way you do it, and there's your nuke made. Easy peasy. And you've got your honey harvested at the same time. Less handling of bees, it's just logical, it's much, much easier to do that.